The official opening of NATO's Strategic Communication Center of Excellence in Riga, Latvia, a facility aimed at tackling cyber warfare and countering Russian propaganda. Among those attending the ceremony Thursday was U.S. Senator John McCain. The center can help get the truth and the reality to the people of all of NATO, including the Baltics, and I am convinced that we can counter that propaganda because that propaganda is false. Analysts warn that Moscow is trying to destabilize the former Soviet Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania, a charge Russia denies. There are some provocations trying to, to create this tension, social tension within the Estonian society, within the Baltic society. So it is underway. In this sense, the threat is quite realistic. It is here. Sutyagin says Moscow is directing the propaganda at so-called non-citizens, that is, residents of the Baltic states who hold Russian passports. They do not need citizenship, but that does not mean that they want to support Russia or want Russia to come to, to their life. Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania are members of NATO and entitled to protection under the bloc's Article 5 on collective defence. In September 2014, Russia detained Estonian security official Eston Kofa on the shared border and this week sentenced him to 15 years in jail for spying. Estonia insists he is innocent and was captured on Estonian soil and that has big implications for NATO, says Sutyagin. We already have uh, one occasion of invasion of the NATO territory in Estonia when Kochver was kidnapped and no one reacted to that. So that is why uh, the threat is here and that is the lesson because salami tactics you slice piece by piece and that was the first piece. Estonia has responded to the perceived Russian threat by boosting defence spending to 2% of GDP. The other Baltic states have not followed suit. Lithuania and, and Latvia, uh, countries that used to speak a lot about uh, their uh, anxiety regarding Russia but spent around 1% GDP uh, on, on defence. The United States has pre-positioned tanks, artillery and other heavy weapons in Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. Washington says it is committed to defending their territorial integrity. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.